Guys, I am back from the COVID hell, okay? I survived the virus, guys. I have survived it. Me, Brooke, and Jack all got it at the same time. Brooke and Jack got it first. I thought I was unscathed. I literally was like, yes, I'm gonna stay in my room for the day, but I don't have it. That night, here comes sore throat coughing COVID. Then I had it for like 10 days. We all had it for like 10 days. And then it just poof, went away. We fe I feel fantastic. But when I did have it, I did have a really bad fever, bad sore throat. I was so tired. Terrible back pain. Manager Brooke, who's behind the camera, also did, was not feeling well. So thank God we, we made it through. And uh, do not do not make mess around with it. You know you gotta you gotta just take your vitamins, guys. Take your vitamins and drink a lot of water. That's what I did. I'm here. I'm back. I have energy finally. I went to the gym the other day. I feel fantastic. So just want to give you guys a life update. Another life update number two is actually Manager Brooke and I are officially getting married. Yes, Manager Brooke. Manager Brooke and I we were engaged. Everybody. Next I, day we had COVID. Yep. We got engaged. Next day. COVID. Yep, I engaged, I uh, proposed to Brooke, and then we got COVID the next day, so we couldn't even celebrate. So now we're celebrating by filming videos together. <laughs> my favorite thing to do. Yes, yeah, so I wanted to tell you guys, because you guys are like my family as well, so you gotta keep the fish guys updated. Good things happening in life right now. So, oh my God, life update number three. Life update number three is, today is Tuesday the 14th of February. You guys know, I don't know when this video is gonna come out, we always like to film in advance, Tuesday, but. February. That's what Siri told me. That's Thank you, Siri. Not... It's, it's actually the 15th. So tomorrow, the 16th, we are starting construction on the giant saltwater pond. So I don't know when you guys are gonna get that video or when you're gonna get this video, but all these boxes, we're gonna move outside, unbox everything. Saltwater pond is coming tomorrow. We are starting construction. I'm freaking excited. That was a quick update. I had to give you guys, I know this is a long intro. I had to give you guys a good solid update because you haven't seen my face in two weeks and there was a lot going on, okay? I got engaged, I got COVID and saltwater pond's coming. It's the three major updates. So we got a couple things for today's video. A lot of things, including another one of these. I don't know if you guys remember, the first time I got this was in one of my shopping spree videos. This is a Kerbsy giant 50 pound rock. And this is gonna be our centerpiece for the saltwater pond. So I brought it home to uh, make sure it was here for when we're setting up tomorrow. This thing's just gonna look magnificent in that pond. But it's really heavy. I'm gonna put it, put it right here. Ah. Ah. I'm a little weak because I haven't worked out, but we got the Aqua UV, we got the Carib C, and we got the Performance Pro pumps all ready to roll. We got more stuff though that we bought today. We bought a new tank today that I'm gonna be setting up. It's a little micro tank, and this tank's actually gonna be for a monster. I'm buying this specific tank for a little mini Savage, something that's gonna just be, cr I cannot wait to show you. I already pre-ordered it at the store. I have to go pick it up. It's gonna be a Savage, it's gonna kill everything. So we got the beauty, okay? It's just a 10 gallon with a light, but we, we're gonna need that light because when this thing eats, it's gonna be like, it's gonna be like World War III every time we feed it. I have not shown you guys anything eating in a long time. Like I said, it's been three weeks. All the ponds, don't worry, they're doing fantastic. But the koi specifically, they haven't seen me in a while. They have not seen me in a while because I've been in my room hibernating. So I don't know if they're even gonna eat anymore. Yeah, I get, I feed them a lot, guys. So everything's doing fine in there. The snapping turtle is gonna come out in a second and uh, go mushroom some pellets. Saltwater pond's doing great behind me. This is the mini saltwater pond. The mini saltwater pond or the quarantine saltwater pond is what we're gonna turn it into because we're gonna have the giant saltwater pond over here up very soon. So now that we got the formalities out of the way, I think we jump into it and start building this mini monster new tank. It's gonna be fantastic. All right guys, like I mentioned in a previous video, we are turning the old studio into a fish tank galore. We're starting small though. We're starting with this guy right here on my little table. Everyone remember Baby Yoda? This, uh, I, didn't, I don't think I got enough sand, Brooke. You didn't. This is a pathetic amount of sand. I'm so dumb, I'm so dumb. But we're gonna figure that out. So, a brand new tank's gonna go right here. We're gonna set this thing up for our mini monster. It's gonna be fantastic, fantastic. We're gonna turn this whole room, if we can, into a fish tank galore. I'm gonna get a bunch of these tables, line them all around the walls, and there's gonna be tanks everywhere. And we're gonna get the coolest stuff that we can find. There she is. Ralph, you wanna see the tank? You wanna see the new tank? Come in. Yeah! She's not allowed up here though. Okay, Razzy, that's enough. Go, 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 woo! Okay, let's get to unboxing this thing, because I know it's gonna be epic. Wow. Fan flippity tasky. Razzie's back up here. She wants to see the tank. She's jonesing. I need to see this tank. I cannot wait. She's actually obsessed with the fish. Obsessed. She will sit in my room and stare at my fish tank for hours. I won't even have to talk to her or get her attention. She's watching the fish. It's hilarious. Even in the in the garage, she'll jump up on the pond, stare at the fish. She wants to kill them all. So let's just see. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just a basic 10 gallon because I want to be able to see this thing from all sides. So I didn't get anything crazy. There she is. Let's go, baby. That's gonna be a 
perfect, perfect spot for our new, our new species that we're getting. I'm not gonna call him a fish, but any guesses in the comments? Guess down below. We're gonna be picking him, picking him up in a later video. Guess down below what you think I'm getting. This is gonna be perfect. Right here on the right side, so maybe I can get another 10 gallon right next to it. So I can have two 10 gallons, something epic here, something epic here. I think that's the best way to do it. You wanna go inside the box? You wanna go inside the box? She's out of her mind. <laughs> out of her mind. She's a fish dog. Fish dog. And of course, the reason why I bought this, because it comes with a lid, guys. Just get a lid, especially when it's salt water, because it's the worst. We have everything we need. We have a lid, we have a net, we have some fish food, and a filter, and a heater, and sand. What is the first order of business, you think, bro? Sand. sand, okay, let's add this in. It says do not rinse on it, I'm pretty sure. Okay, right, so here's our sand going in first. Let's just see how much this even covers. Oh, it did fine. That's Perfect. fine. I didn't need any more. Perfect amount. It may not be the thickest sand, but it will do the job. I cannot wait to show you what's going in here. It's gonna be so fun. I'm gonna make so many TikToks with this thing. Go to our TikTok at Fish Guys. I make all the TikToks. I'm trying to become a TikTok star. And this guy, I, actually not even me, the star. This guy's gonna be the star whenever I get him. Guess in the comments. Now really the only other decor we need is a rock. Just one solid rock, because we wanna be able to see this guy as much as possible. So let's go get a rock. So I have a bu couple buckets of rock here. I don't know which one I wanna take though. Do I wanna take something white or, or purple? That's perfect. Just, just this? Yeah. Okay, I wanna make sure he's got a little cave though. All right, I think we're just gonna rock with this one. We're gonna try and find a good one here. It's a terrible rock. It's just a flat rock. Ow, ow. How about this rock? Ugh. I think I'm gonna have to steal a rock from my mini saltwater pond because that one is, I love that white rock. I really do. Look at this, look at this little rass right here. He, he just is chilling. He absolutely loves me. This one right here is actually really perfect for it. Brooke, can I take this one? Yeah. Okay, just a nice, well-rounded white rock. Let's do it. Okay, I think this is gonna be stellar in here. How about just right there? Because maybe he goes under perfect. there. And we can, okay, I want it to be really, really simple, so. That's good enough, just a white rock, white sand. I didn't want to use a purple one. Gotta save those for the saltwater pond. Now we add water and we finish this bad boy. The only bad thing about having everything upstairs is because you gotta go up the stairs with water. Okay, our first bucket of water. Let's see how this is gonna look in here. I think I got expired sand. Why is it like curdled milk? Bucket number two. Ah! I gotta fix the sand anyways, guys. Love setting up new aquariums, man. I really do, I really love it. Now the best things about these tanks is they literally just come with everything, so it's like, I don't have to deal with, oh, you gotta get a filter. Just comes in one box, and it's just so nice. So nice, man, it's good to be back. It really is, really is good to be back. I'd usually be a little bit upset. Oh, I gotta carry water upstairs? No, I'm thriving in my element right now. Okay, now that I have my curdled milk, or whatever it's called. Curdled milk. Curdled milk sand, we need to fix it, it's embarrassing. Why does it look like curdled milk, Rook? What is this horrible sand? It's it I got curdled milk sand. I got expired sand, of all people to get expired sand. Is that even possible? I don't know. That's the best we're gonna do for now. We gotta let the sand like settle down, Brooke said. She's the fish god. I'm just the fish guy. There's a difference. We're looking good so far. Let's get this thing plugged in. Look how easy this is. There you go. Let's go, baby. I always gotta get a heater because, you know, aquarium fish, they need to be at a certain degrees. That's coming from the fish, that's coming straight from the fish guy. Now for my favorite part, guys, the lid. It's just, you gotta see it with the light on. Guys, the expired sand aquarium. That's what we're gonna name this one because it has curdled sand. Here's the moment of truth. The light. Fantastic, guys. Absolutely fantastic. Whatever I buy to put in this is gonna pop in here. We're gonna do epic feedings with him. That is your only hint. I cannot wait to show you what we got. We have officially completed our first nano saltwater aquarium for a predator. Today is our first one. I'm excited to do many more of these in the future. I hope all of you are stoked for what I got. Leave a comment below what you think it is. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.